so here's the plan. We're just gonna jack her up today, take out the wheels, just get everything ready, drain the oil, and start looking at the e-brake cable for the rear. I we have to make a custom e-brake. The car can stop. See how that fits. Okay, this is a look underneath the car in the daylight. Okay, so don't mind the mess. We just got the car back. So we're just, it's the first good day. So I'm just working on the universal e-brake cable. So this is the cable. More or less, this is what it looks like. Um, those are all axle parts I have to use to somehow make a custom axle for this car. So I'm gonna keep those in here to get them out of the way. So what we have to do is take out the OEM e-brake cable from the top and underneath the car, run this new cable in place and basically just cut it to length. So I'll show you the whole process as I go through it. So this line right here is the original e-brake cable from the CB7. It will not fit on this car. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take this off, remove it, and then install the custom e-brake lines. So this right here is the universal e-brake line. This is the side that will be going towards the caliper itself. There's a little fit in that I'll show you later on. And as you can see, it's fairly long, so we have to cut it to length. So I'm just gonna walk you through the process. trying to do everything with the drive shaft in place so I can make sure when the new line is in it's not interfering but it's becoming a little bit difficult so let me take off this bracket wrap this whole thing down and then uh, I'll continue cable works basically remove the section from the shield and this is the bracket I'll attach to the actual e-brake so basically what you do is this bracket will fit onto the little clevis right there and you just basically feed this line through it That's how it look. Yeah, the slide is spring on. To give it tension, so once you release it, you bring it pop back. So, that's how it look. So once you have that side of the cable completed, you now work on the outer sleeve. So you have the shield on. Now you actually have to just run the cable back through it cable will be this metal section so you thread it through the center of it it's pretty rigid so it should go with no problems <laughs> That's in place, and you attach this clip over this portion. 
So basically, it'll be like that. So once the e-brake is engaged and tightened up, once you pull it, it'll the spring will compress, and once you release the e-brake, the springs to basically push everything back to normal. So there's some kind of tension. So now that that portion is completed, we we'll just basically route this line to the length inside the car. You know, we'll zip tie it up just to get everything in place a little bit, and then you'll cut it to size to the body of the car. That's not gonna have the length correct. So there'll be brackets made to hold this in place, but this is just so we can get the length correct for right now. So it has a little bit of slack. Okay, so here's what we did so far. I had this bracket welded up. This is where the center console will mount to. So this one bolted down right there. And then this is a portion that will normally hold the factory e-brake cables. So use this to space it down. Screw it into place. And then I'll have the e-brake, the, the new aftermarket ones, cut to length about right here. And then this particular portion of the cable will run through here, tie into this brass fit in, and then the e-brake will work. Just like that. So Okay, so this is the setup. This is how the cables are. This is where they're gonna mount. So we just have to take a quick measurement. I've already connected all the cables underneath the car, so we just have to cut these to length at this point. So basically right here is where I'm gonna cut, give or take, right here. So So in order to do this safely, you have to go back underneath the car and remove this section. Or else, because you don't want to cut through it, you just want to cut through the casing, but not the actual cable itself. So now you just gotta go get a little screwdriver to clean out the metal burrs. Then just gonna slide everything into the housing and that should take care of everything. So here's the finished product. The e-brake is in, ran it through, tighten it down on the bracket, had the two factory 12 millimeter bolts in place. And this is the brass. I just have it adjustable. So we have two tens on each side. I just lock it in, run the cable through, tighten it down with the Allen keys and we now have e-brake. There's that little clevis right here. Pull back, the e-brake is engaged. So once everything is done, if I want to adjust it more, I can, but the e-brake is going to be pretty firm. So, release it. And everything spins. So of course, there's still a little bit of, just got to adjust everything, make sure everything is fine when it's actually rolling and it's not too tight but for right now that's the end of this project